Hello everybody, I'm back. I got rid of the sleep mask, now I have just the hat. I don't know where I got this hat from. Also on the I think it's this is is this a fascinator or this one right here? I feel like the Royals or something. That's the end of the round of it. Anyway, this video is a long awaited story time my last Disney World trip. Everybody knows that I went to Disney World for my birthday back in February. Actually, we got there on the 31st. I'm going to start up there. If I can remember all this. Okay, we got there. We didn't get in until practically 7 o'clock. Because we had like two hours, of course, in Atlanta, as usual. And <clears throat> we missed our Magical Express. We ended up getting, of course, a different one. Of course, my mom was trying to figure out if she wanted to take a taxi, but I'm like, uh, no. Taxis are boring, okay? Taxis are so very 1998 or something. Make that 99. Yeah, that was like a million years ago. So I need to go watch, like, I of the 90s or I of the 2000s. Like the good part of both of those decades, of course. But anyway, let's see. We we stayed at a yacht club Thursday night and Friday night, and we moved to Boardwalk for Saturday night, and we're supposed to be Saturday night and Sunday night, and then Monday night we were supposed to stay at the ho at the airport hotel, and then we ended up getting sick, and that was. Not fun, but anyway, when we got there, let's see, what did we do? I think, yeah, we ordered something to eat. I'm trying to remember what I had. Um, I can't remember. But, you know, of course, there was Must Do Disney on TV, of course, and I watched that about uh, multiple times in a row, of course. Both you know, that and the one on my the old stuff on my phone and my old phone it, we didn't get to bed till midnight on that night because we were too busy enjoying being there so we, we were tired let's see we were tired the next morning when we got up it was Friday we Went to you know, actually we went to the yeah we went to the we didn't go to the restaurant that day we went to a different day we went to the the main place where they have the the food I mean it's not like a buffet it's not a cafeteria it's not a restaurant they just I mean it's kind of like a gift shop in a way but it's not um. Gotten a bunch of snacks and water and ginger ale. Actually, that was that was later on a trip. Let's see. We hung out till about a little bit. Then we went took the the bus to Dizzy Springs. And since it was open, I we went to. Okay, now we went to the part that used to be Pleasure Island's parking lot because I think that was Town Center, and then behind that, and the landing that was used to be Pleasure Island. And that's now stores and restaurants, and so is town center. But in the in the guide maps, it looks like a bunch of trees, which I mean, there's not trees there anymore. So stores and restaurants, and it's almost in this little brown brick sculpture thing that they bought, brought, yeah, built, <clears throat> and like I can't remember. Let's see, they didn't tear down the clubs until about 2013, I think. By 2016, it was mostly finished. 
we went to do that. We went to a Kate Spade store. We went to a Sephora and Mac and a bunch of other stores. That were, I don't remember what time we ate lunch. We went, we were walking along and all of a sudden I spotted the daily poutine, which of course was like, uh, yeah, that's what I want right now. And I looked at the menu, of course I took pictures. That was when I had my old phone, so. You know, I, I got the original poutine. So, I mean, the Italian one, which is like caprese, basically, was probably had, probably had sauce and on top of the cheese gravy, cheese curds gravy and a yeah, different sauce, you know, marinara versus regular gravy, which unfortunately my mom can't eat the gravy because she's a vegetarian, but I think she probably would have liked the Italian one. I'll have to find out. Let's see, then we went to, sorry, I have to finish off an one. What do we know? We went to Unique Law, which I have in Chicago. And we went to um, a bunch of other stores. And then we went to I think I went back into Sephora to get something. Yeah, that's what happened. I went back into Sephora to get something that, that I left at another store. And then we went well, we went past World of Disney. And of course, I said to my mom, I want to go in there. And she let me. And she let me go in there, but she wouldn't let me go into the stores in Chicago. Kind of crazy. And let's see. I went in there for looking at a huge amount of stuff, of course, and I mean, that's sort of like the Pentagon of the universe of Disney merch. And you know, there's so many ears that I want, but I, I mean, it was my birthday. I got the, the birthday ears, of course, and there's still like four pairs that I want to get, so I'm either going to have to buy them online or until we go back to Disney. Hoping that in a couple of weeks or in the fall, we're going to be going there again. Let's see. We... I was there for at least 20 minutes, and of course my mom shows up, <clears throat> and meanwhile I have a magic band on, and I kept having to re remove the thing all the freaking time to get it to freaking work, and to get it to, you know, charge things, and you punch in your, your code, and you're off, you know, I was like in a roll with that, and everywhere, and I was like, buying all this cool stuff and then let's see we went we just walked around looking at all the cool stuff and let's see we had dinner around thankfully we didn't have reservations but we were trying to find Wolfgang Puck and I found out that they had torn down the one that I used to go to about 15 years ago I mean, I'm still very bummed about that because they had the best sushi now, which is now Splits, Splitsville, which used to be Virgin Megastore, had, is now the best sushi place. I was pretty, pretty bummed, but I don't remember what I had. It was like salmon or something. They don't currently have the sushi anymore. They got rid of the whole restaurant to build. I, mean, I have pictures of the old restaurant. and. Changed a lot, but we, and we walked around looking for a place at Disney Springs. I wanted to eat at. Of course, I wanted to go to Splitsville, so we went to Splitsville. 
And it was, actually that was Saturday, sorry. What did we do Friday? On Friday we did go to, yeah, Friday night anywhere was pretty crazy. <laughs> I mean, stores in Chicago don't close till about, I don't know, when it's dark. It, I don't know about the Disney one. Yeah, we went to Splitsville, and, you know, I wa you walk into this place. I mean, it used to be a Virgin Mega store, so it was full of books and CDs and really awesome stuff. Now it's a, a restaurant and, like, two levels. Where all the books, aforementioned books and CDs are, my we were at the day. Um, we went upstairs, and they also have a bowling alley, of course, that's what, hence the name. And I ordered a, a hurricane drink without the alcohol, which is basically fruit juice. Now, a lot of places, I've been a couple, I've tried to get them a couple places without alcohol in it, and thankfully these people were like, okay, sure, yeah, we can do that. I'm like, I haven't had a hurricane drink since the last time I was in New Orleans, and that was four years ago, with my friend, and who was in Mississippi, and she's actually going to be in Florida, and went in there, but a but Disney World instead of you know, Sarasota, but anyway, we went back to the hotel with lots of fun new things. There was a video there somewhere, but this is like all the stuff that happened. Of course. I've been trying to do this for months and I mean I spent like most of February and most of March recovering from being sick, but this is the good part. We okay, Saturday we got up we were going to move, okay, it's Saturday we were moving to Boardwalk, so this, the hotel's at Yacht Club, uh, Yacht Club is here, and Boardwalk is over here, and I've got this that way, and by the way, we can see the fire, hear the fireworks, and see the fireworks from the hotel, and by the way, those fireworks, Illuminations is ending on September 30th, and the new show starts on October 1st, which is Epcot's birthday, and Epcot is only four months older than me, by the way, so we're the same age, pretty much, but anyway, uh, the next, let's see, we went to Magic Kingdom. Saturday is nuts. There were long lines, and we, let's see, we walked through Magic Kingdom, listened to the pretty music, of course. We went into, did we go to the Emporium first? I don't remember. We went over to Splash Mountain. I glanced over at Big Thunder, and it line was like two hours long it seemed like I I just don't really like the jerky part of the ride I'm turning out something during there but I just spilled my Wonder Woman's face on my shirt oops that's Dr. Pepper I'm watching Batman punch played by Ben Affleck punch Henry Cavill aka Superman in the face yeah. Anyway, we went on Splash Mountain. My mom hasn't ridden anything at Disney with me. I used to ride it with my sister, and this was only I had one niece, but she was only a year at the time. It was in 2001, and um, I'm gonna do a smidge video on slight video on that one. Let's do a video. I'm trying to figure out how to say it right. And let's see. We, and then we went on, we went on. I mean, we have fast passes, but we didn't use them until Disney re actually refunded it. the fast passes and a bunch of other stuff. So we got some money back. So thank you, Disney. After we got sick. And we just went on the rides. Of course, my mom was. Starting, I was, both of us were starting to feel funny, and she was like, I need to go to the gift shop and get something, and of course I kept pulling her along to Haunted Mansion, and then back to Pirates, and the, the Caribbean, and then uh, 
by the time we hit fill her magic, she was like, like I was saying, she was like, I need to go to, I, I pulled, or basically dragged her to the park, picking, uh, like, all the stuff I wanted to do, and of course, I got in line for good old It's a Small World, and I didn't have a fast pass, so they made me stand, and both of us stand in an incredibly long line, and it was, like, winding all over the place, and it went from, like, here, and it was, like, over there was the ride, but it took at least an hour to get through the line, and anyway, back, we finished the ride, and then we, I think she got something, yeah, she got some pain meds or something, and then we went to lunch, we had a, we have a dining reservation, it was at, uh, Liberty to Tavern, I think, and oh my god, the bread there is delicious, I like bread as long as it tastes good. It was like apple butter, which is oh my god, heaven! I have that in my fridge. I need to do a, I need to do a um some here. I need to do a video about what's in my fridge and freezer and cabinets. Um, let's see. Then we went to basically doing all the rides we liked. What did I get for lunch? I think it was fish and chips, but I'm not sure, but they were dang good, of course. Um, let's see. Went to more rides. Let's see. Stripping as courtesy as my cat. Hey. I make a video of us. So by that point, it was getting dark, and we decided to go back to the hotel because we were tired. So we went to the bus, the bus stop. Oh my god, the bus stop is. Why, oh yeah, we were. By then, like I said, we had moved hotels, so we were. It was like, remember we're going to Boardwalk, so we had to take try to find the right bus to get to Boardwalk. The contemporary is right they are all lit up and beautiful and so was the main street and my guy took pictures seriously my old little phone i was like that big and part of this one the phone case i now have two phone cases right a phone in florida i plan on getting one a couple more which drives my mom crazy by the way me buying phone cases and just Maybe I make up. But whatever. Anyway. We went to the hotel. Our new hotel, which is Boardwalk, like I said, it's right across the whatever that body of water is. No, I guess I had Yacht Club and Beat Club, Boardwalk and Epcot was over here. Take a boat. We got to the hotel, checked in and I got my birthday buttons. They wished me happy birthday. Oh, everybody wished me happy birthday, even though my birthday, we got there, you know, Thursday was Friday and Saturday was all happy birthday. And I was like, oh, thank you. You know, I was having, I counted about eight people who had birthdays. Again, those parks were crazy. I mean, everybody was in the universe. Was the parks, apparently. Um, let's see, the next day was my birthday on Sunday, February 3rd. We. Went from Boardwalk to the International Gateway. Epcot World Showcase was not open yet, so we were we were kind of waited our way into Future World, and we went, of course, to Starbucks, and gosh, another long line. We had fast passes, but we were late. We did Spaceship Earth, Soren, the Land Boat Ride. Um, All the stuff in Future World. We did a lot of wandering around and stuff. I mean, we haven't been there in a while. I mean, last time I was there, it was through the parking lot. Just kind of lame. And then, let's see. I tried to get in line for Test Track. There was a very mean person there. And even though it was my birthday, I was like, I didn't say that, but I was like, this guy, when I went back later, he wasn't there, thankfully, but... I was, they're like, 
came back later and I'm like, I don't mind doing the, I'm like, how long, my mom was like, how long is the, the single writer thing? I mean, they were like 45 minutes. I'm like, 45 minutes, I wait that long in Chicago for pizza. I'd say that, but, you know. it, I waited three hours to write Test Track for some reason. I haven't written Test Track since they opened it, but. I went on it, by the time I went on it, it was like 3 o'clock at least, so we went back, my mom, we got in line, my mom actually held my purse, at, that was a Red Kate Spade purse, by the way, not the Disney one, I didn't buy that till later, now I rolled the ride, let's see, where did we go after that, this, oh, we, we actually tried to go, Okay, we ended up, no, I know what happened. We went to Canada, which is now open by 11. I mean, we got there, wasn't open, but it was kind of weird, not open, actually. But anyway, we got there. I'm putting new pictures up soon, by the way. I'm putting, let's see, this section up here with my head. Because I did my previous video, but anyway. We had a reservation at the Cellier at like 6, but I couldn't, I was getting hungry, and... They had, I mean, they had poutine outside in the refreshment port or center, one of those places, but they, the, the poutine they have in the La Cellier was, oh my god, it was delicious. I mean, there's like, it's like beef and just the poutine stuff, the cheese curds, which by the way, actually here I can actually make them at home. I actually melt the cheese curds to about 30 seconds. And then a bunch of other stuff, and all I need is the french fries and the gravy, and then I have the poutine, but I'm trying to get Wal not Walmart, pretty much all stores to carry the ingredients for it, but oh my god, it was heaven. But by this point, I was starting to wind down, I mean, I wanted to go on World Showcase, the World Showcase stuff, Cause, and I haven't seen most of the shows, the Canada show, since... 2000, I don't know, since they updated it, like same with Test Track and Space of Earth, and, but something was going on with me, I was, like my mom, not feeling well yet, and I didn't realize at the time that I was getting sick. We decided to cut the trip back, we were like, we we're going to come, I was like, can just come back. I mean, we were right next to the, we could see the fireworks from the hotel, like I said. I don't know what was going on with me. I'm, look, thinking back all these months, many months later, it was that I wish we stayed because, I don't know. It's my birthday. I wanted to see everything that I haven't seen in years. But, you know, take the boat back to the Go see the International Gateway, get, get a boat, ride back to Boardwalk. I mean, we didn't really do anything besides watch TV, and it was probably, what time was it? Dinner time or so by the time we head back, back to the Boardwalk. You know, I wish we had, like, checked out the Boardwalk because there was, like, all this cool stuff to see. There was a slide. I mean, it was, you know, it was February. It, was, it wasn't pool weather. I mean, nobody was in the pool. I mean, you can't go in the water by the next to the hotels because of alligators and what happened to that one little kid because of the alligator. Which, of course, his parents should have been following him along. But, anyway. We just hung out the rest of the night and yeah, I went to and then I get the purse. I'm thinking it was the, the next couple, like two days later. Anyway, I had a, I did have a great birthday. You know, all the happy birthday messages and you know, fun stuff. Let's see. We got up. I was so sick the next day I got up. I think it was, part of it was the weather, part of it was, I mean, we went from here, which was like negative 50, to Florida, which was like 
60 degrees. That was a 60 degree cha big change. I I threw up and I had a, my mom and the lovely people at the hotel were taking care of us for and we didn't think we were going to be there another five days and Disney did refund us and give us more another trip basically which is so awesome and they took great care of us anyway sometime in the day I ended up in the hospital and my mom ended up going two days later on Wednesday we ended up my mom called the airport and the airline pushed the date it back a couple of days which then ended up being Sunday the following Sunday we came home and and I mean, my throat hurt, my, I couldn't sleep very well, of course, and it was, I mean, I was only in the ER for an hour, my mom was there, she was hooked up on an IV, which I was not, because IV is horrible, obviously, but she was there for couple of hours and of course the people in the hotel were out in the lobby and the, and they saw the whole thing I and mean, I wasn't you know, hooked to anything but I was laying there I mean they, I wasn't dying or anything but you know I was wide awake I mean in the past I've had seizures and I was out of it and this time I was conscious so I mean a lot of people were Wondering what the world was going on. But I'm not going to get into the sick part of the trip, but. But. Obviously, I guess my mom ended up in the hospital two days later. We. By the time we got home, it, it was. Obviously, horrible. Obviously. Obviously, it's a key word there. Um, well, I don't really remember all of what was going on internally besides, you know, like I said, everything hurt. My head hurt, my neck hurt, my back. My legs, I was, had cold sweats, and I had, I had to wrap up in my Brazilian blankets and layers of cooling. I mean, this was Florida, but Florida, it was not warm, okay? It was like, it, when we, finally when we left, it got up to back to 70, but when we got there, it was like 50, but he said it's not cool weather, of course. And, and like I said, I wanted to check out the hotel and see the slide and the, and the pools and the boardwalk and there's a dance club there, and just, I mean, we saw it from afar, but I think we did order from one of the restaurants there, and we did, a, we ate at, um, was it Ale and Compass? Yeah, that's what it was. We ate there, they had a lot of delicious food I had. Um, I think that is what made me s sick. Besides the, oh my God, we were actually we actually got moved to concierge level. They had fondue, and it was like heaven as much as a poutine. And oh my God, they had like the nicest people, and they had like they had poutine. They had that well. They had. pieces of bread to dunk the fondue in and they had just different sandwiches and a lot of yummy things and of course I got back to the hotel room and that's when I sort of grappled and it was nasty and it was a lot and I hope that the scene is not was able to get out all the 
nasty nest from the carpets. It's a lot easier to clean it off of anything that's not carpet. Of course. Most of my floors from the house, this house are wooden, except the hallway, upstairs, the basement stairs. I don't know why the basement stairs are carpet anyway, because when I had, you know, years ago we had, had children in this house, and you know, you're tracking all sorts of nasty stuff on my side. Plus it is my cat too, if she ever goes outside, but it, anyway. All we do is lay in bed, watch TV, drink ginger ale. Um, finally, it's Sunday. We came home. Oh my god, this video is half an hour. Um, we kind of have a lot of space on my iPad, but I'm thinking of buying some more. Just in case. I mean, I get that on my new phone, which is kind of pointless. I should have it transferred to... Half of it transferred to... I don't really film on my phone that much, but I'm going to try to do that in Florida when I'm there in a couple of weeks or less. Uh, both my nieces are graduating, one middle school, one high school. Uh, let's see. We will throw this in February and March, recovering from being sick. Um, yeah, that was a fun trip. Like I said, Disney refunded the trip by adding, like taking out, like, I mean, we're going to go to Animal Kingdom on the 4th of February, which is the day after my birthday. I ended up getting sick in the ER trip and everything, and they refunded us that day and then a couple of other days, and, you know, I'm so thankful that they can do that, of course, because... Otherwise, I mean, our hotel room was very expensive. It was like 600 I looked at the bill, and it was like, for another two nights, was like, yeah, about that much or more. I was like, holy stuff. So I had to take my mom's credit card down to the lobby to pay for two more days, and that went up more. They brought that down, thankfully. I mean, if they hadn't done that, I mean, I would have, like... You know, I want a refund because we were sick, you know, very sick. I mean, uh, we heard, I heard other people sick too. All the hacking, that's what we were doing, was hacking. Practically for days and... I'm not going to get into all that, but... Oh my god, seriously, it was... You gotta survive that, seriously, otherwise... I don't know what I would have done. But uh, that was months ago. If we survived fish and salad pretty much, you know, uh, it still was a great trip despite the sickness. By the way, my one of my recent pictures or one of my recent videos, I was yawning. I'm like, can they capture something more flattering than? Yawning. Anyway. And anyway, that's story time. My Disney trip. I did a haul. I bought, you know, a lot of stuff. Clothes, makeup, a couple of pairs of Pavianos. Which, by the way, why do they charge thirty dollars for a pair of shoes? I mean, I can get. Well, I have Nikes, and they're more than that. They're like a hundred bucks. I was gonna say I don't wear Nikes very much. I have a pink pair over and a black pair, and I wear the black ones that much. Uh, don't work out over any, very much. I did last year though. Anyway, I need I have a bunch of like story times I want to do. I have one. Like my living in Texas thing, which that's probably going to go on for a while. And then I want to do also 9-11 as well. I kind of want to do them now, but I kind of want to, I don't know. 
I think I should just do it now. And then I have them like written down on different days, but I'm just gonna do that now instead. So, well, thanks everybody for watching. And my advice: if you go in, in the, if you win in the flu season, just don't go in. Like, also don't go between Christmas and New Year's because my friend did last year, and it was so nuts there. I mean, I would go, well, I want to go when, for Illuminations last day, which, like I said, is September 30th, and the new show starts on October 1st, which is, again, Epcot, Amanda Kim's birthday, so we can make up for our trip and stuff, but, again, thank you to Disney for most of it being wonderful, for pumping us some hotel room, our tickets for Animal Kingdom, hopefully we get to go there again. My mom hasn't been since 2001. Yeah, my next story time is Disney World 2001. You know, that was, of course, September 11th happened, you know. So I'm gonna do that on those two now, so I'll see everybody soon. I love you, Disney. By the way, yeah, in case anybody, in case there's no music in any of my videos, I do that as not, because most of the music that I hear in the videos is either really annoying or, I mean, I guess I could play some, something Disney, but I don't like people playing music in videos anyway, I just, I find it distracting, annoying, and also some people like to talk during certain videos about sort of ranging out or talking about random stuff. You know. Just watching everybody. I'll see you soon. I love you again.